Kane. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Are you gonna go play Baccarat tonight? Yeah, you're gonna come along? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, Keith from Beat the Casino. Right here we are live in Las Vegas on Fremont Street. We're having a great time playing blackjack and baccarat. Come on down, join our baccarat approach uh, on betting and the type of bets. And, you know, the purpose of this is to explain the type of betting uh, approaches that you can employ with any strategy. And I, I just want to make things clear. Okay, let's start. There, there's several ways you can think about how you bet. Um... And it's probably one of the most important things. The most popular for playing Baccarat and beat the casino is without a doubt flat betting. So flat betting, and I, I'll just move this out of the way. Flat betting is simply betting the same amount, win or lose, uh, every time. If you bet $25 and you win it, you bet $25 again. If you lose it, you just simply stay at $25. Uh, it's, you know, the most basic form of betting and... Uh, you know, to win, you have to overcome the the uh, commission, and you have to win more than a little bit more than fifty percent of the hands to turn a profit. So that's what everything is designed to get you to do with all the statistics we look at, how to get your hands one ratio uh, up. Now, uh, just a couple things: flat betting isn't. You can flat bet a session, like if you go in to play for a day and you flat bet a quarter, and then you bet a quarter again, win or lose, and bet a quarter again. And then the next time you go to the casino, you're betting $100 chips. And then you're going to turn around and say, well, I'm a net winner, you know, because you you lost betting quarters and then you won betting $100 chips. You didn't flat bet and win. You just bet a tiered negative progression. So, you know, stay at where you, uh, you know, state how you're playing. It's very important for everyone to do that. Um uh, again, that that's you know one of the things we run into. Now, if you if you track it session over session, uh, you know you just need to realize that flat betting one session quarters and flat betting at a hundred is not really flat betting. You're simply uh, just betting a, a negative progression with it. Um, albeit, you know it's it's a very drawn out negative progression, but. You know, if someone says I'm playing, I play Baccarat for $25 flat betting, then every time you go to the casino, you must bet uh, $25. I think we get the idea there. You know, a loop betting is no matter what happens, and, and we used to do, use a common loop, uh, no matter what happens, when you bet one, win or lose, your next bet is always two. That could be a loop bet. Win or lose, okay. Uh, you could bet loop betting like one, and call this five. One, two, three, four, five. So instead of betting it in green, you could bet five. And then maybe the next time you bet six. So anything where you bet one one time, win or lose, and then you bet the next bet as, as some other number or some other, other incremental number of, of a bet, uh, it's called loop betting. So you could bet five, you could win the five, and your next bet, three, four, five, six, is all is going to be one, two, three, four, five six. So this here is equal to five of these. That's why we break it down to five that way. So loop betting, one number, then the next number, one number, then the next number, win or lose. Pretty easy to understand. Negative progressions. There's two kinds. There's one with limits and there's one without limits. A negative progression is usually you bet one. If you win the one, okay, you go back to betting one. So let's pay it off so you can see exactly how it goes now that we're getting into a little bit more complex uh, forms of betting. So let's say, for instance, you bet one chip and you win that one chip. Negative progression betting always says as soon as you win, you go back to one or with a limited progression. Now, if you lose the one, you bet any increment that's more than what you just bet. So in this case, we bet two. If you win that, you just start over. Okay, now the most common is a three bet negative progression. So what's that? Well, let's say, for instance, we bet the one and we lose it. Then we bet the two and we lose it. Now we bet the three. If we win it, our next bet is one. If we lose it, our next bet is still one. 
because we've been a limited negative progression. After we lose three in a row, we go back to one. So you can see, you can make your negative progression any length. You, you could say, okay, I'm going to bet a negative progression. One, two, four. Now, what a lot of people like to do is they'll, they'll add all these up and they want to win one no matter what. So here, if you win the first one, you win one. Here, if you win the second one, you win one. Here, when you bet four, if you win the third one, you win one. Now, this is where it gets a little hairy, okay? So here, you've invested seven chips to win. Uh, so now you've got to bet... Well, there's, there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now, if you win any one of these, you're going to win one chip. Now, with the big and things like that if you get to that bet um you know chances are it's going to eat up your commission anyway okay so that would be a four-tiered negative progression so again uh and these the ones that have have uh three bets some folks have done it um to get a little bit more torque in it some will bet a one four six negative progression so one chip then four chips and then six chips and then win or lose on any or, or lose I'm sorry, win on any one of them, and you always go back to one. So if you bet one and win, great. You start back at one. If you lose the one and you win the four, great. You take your chips and you're out, and you start over at one. But if you lose the one, you lose the four, and you bet the six, and you, win the, and you, and you lose the six, now you just lost the whole progression, as we say. And you start over at one. It's really hard to recover uh, when you lose a one, four, six, or even a one, two, three negative progression. Okay, that's with limits. Of course, some people play, and you'll see uh, a lot of players do this all the time. They don't stop, and usually the variation that they do uh, with this, it's kind of a maybe I should have explained it in loop betting, but it's kind of an up. They call it up one, down one. So if you lose the one, up one you go to two. If you lose the two, you go to three. If you lose the three, you go to four. If you lose the four, you bet five. Okay, so now let's say you you win the five, okay? Now since I just won the five, my next bet is I go down one. I'm going to bet the four. Well, if you lose the four, oops, I should have took that. If you lose the four, now your next bet is you go up. Okay, and then of course if you win that, then you win the five chips. Now your max bet would be four. So you win that. So now your next bet is three. Let's say you win that. Okay, so that, that would be a, a looping uh, up one, down one bet. And perhaps I should show you that. Like if you're doing that with player and banker, okay, and you bet the one, and you win, and you say you lose the one. Now, now you bet two, and let's say you're all only betting player. Well, you lose that. Now you're gonna bet three. Well, you win that. So you get paid there. And now you just go down one. Now you bet two, and if you win that, you win that. Now you're back down to the one. See, so, so you went four full circle. Let's say, for instance, you lose that. Okay, well, now you're going to bet two, right? If you win that, okay, and now you go back to one. Hey! So that's that's the hey, up how you one doing? down. Good, how are you? Great. Are you going to go play Baccarat tonight? Yeah, you're going to come along? Yeah. All right, let's go. Right. <laughs>